Okay, I've been asked how to speed up video using virtual dub. You can speed up and slow down. Um, hopefully you've downloaded virtual dub, which you can just go onto Google and get for free. And then just go to virtual dub XE and hopefully you get that screen. All we do then is pick the um, clip that we want. In my case it's a clip of an amoeba and all I'm doing is clicking on it and dragging it across to the main screen. And then I can minimize that and I now have this screen. I'm now going to uh, maximize the size which gives me that. Okay, the screen on the left is the before and the one on the right is after. Um, now let's look at the bar at the bottom which is very important. Uh, if I take my cursor and hold it with the left click here, I can now move the movie to the section that I'm interested in. Both the left and right screen move. Uh, the next thing I need to pick is where to start and end the section that I want to work on. It could be the whole section, but in this case I just want to pick one part. Okay, so find the section that I'm interested in and for example if I want to do it here I then take the cursor and click on this button here and that's the home, that's the start section I now drag the video to wherever I want the section to end for example here and I click the button to the right of it and that lights up a section in blue and that's the section we're going to be working on and that's very important because if I now go back here to the bottom left to play the video. Remember I can play the uh, left hand section here or the right hand section, the original or the adjusted one, and I press play nothing happens. And nothing happens because I'm at the end of the clip. So if I want to play it I need to come back here and click for example in the middle or at the beginning of the blue section. Now I can go back and play and it will now play. So I've now got the section that I'm going to work on. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is go up to the top here and I'm going to click on audio because I don't want any sound. If I've got any sound on I want to get rid of that straight away. So I go straight down to whoops, excuse me, go straight down to no audio because if I'm slowing down and speeding clips up that's going to make a mess of things. So now I've got rid of any sound. Now I go to the button next to audio which is video I click on that and it offers me frame rate. If I click on frame rate it will give me a range of choices here. At the moment it's 30 frames per second. I want to click the second button to change that. I could obviously click it to 5 frames a second which would slow the whole thing down 6 times. In this case I want to go faster so if I wanted to go 5 times faster all I need to do is type in 150 frames per second and then click on the OK button and I'm now ready. OK, remember to play the clip. I need to make sure that I've clicked at the front here and now move down to playing the clip here and just before I click that I'll show you the screen again and now clicking the play button and everything moves at five times speed. That's so quick I missed it. So in that case, that's such a short clip, I'll uh, now extend the clip across here. I could just drag the marker or I can just click on it and it will naturally extend it. So go back to say this is the home section. And then you can see things extended out. I can now go back, press play, and it's playing at five times speed. If I decide that's a bit fast, all I need to do is go back up to the top Click on video, change the frame rate, and 
for example, change it to ninety frames a second. Click OK. Go back down to my clip. And when I play it again, it's now playing at three times speed. OK, all I need to do now is save it. So I go top left, File, Save as AVI, choose the place where I'll save it. I'll save it on my desktop, call it, call it Experiment. Click Save, it shows me that it's saving it. And the only problem is that these are huge files. That small clip is already projected to be 321 megabytes. Uh, you can compress them using codecs. I prefer to just save them as large files and then take them over into Movie Maker. OK, once it's saved, of course, you can go back into the clip. Pick another section that you're interested in. Click home on this button here, and then when it's where you're interested in, I click end, and I've now got a new section to play with. I can slow that down and speed it up using the um, video option at the top here. Okay, if instead of um, speeding up I want to slow down, I can change it to any number I want in here. So, for example, if I put in here 5 frames per second and the original was 30, slow it down six times, press OK, press play, and now we're moving at six times slower. OK, you can also see on the video frame rate control, as well as changing the frames per second, you also have the option to process every other frame, decimate by two, or process every third frame, decimate by three, or a choice to decimate however you like. I personally just like to keep all the frames and speed the whole lot up, uh, but you can experiment with that and see which one works for you. Okay, if I'd like to save a, a still, a particular frame, that's quite easy to do as well. Uh, all I need to do is pick the number of frames that I'm interested in, for example clicking here and in this case I just want to pick just two or three frames and now I click end. So now you can see there there's a tiny tiny blue slice which is this, the number of frames, four or five frames. And now all I need to do is go up to file in the top left hand corner, a range of choices here and I pick the one that says Save Image Sequence, which is here. I click Save Image Sequence, and I have a new window, and the window offers me the name, which I'm quite happy to keep that name. It shows me where I'm going to save those two. Be careful with that, because if you, you might have maybe 200 images, which will completely flood your desktop. In my case, I'm only hoping to have four. I'm saving them as JPEGs. I'm happy with all of that. All I need to do is click OK, and that will save the four frames to my desktop. And that's it. I hope that was helpful.